Good morning, sunshines. How are you? Hopefully everybody is safe and healthy. Um, we're going to do a basic bar class. If you've never tried bar and you've wondered what it is, now this is a great time to jump in and give it a shot. I grabbed a few weights. You're welcome to use weights and I'll demonstrate where to use those. And if you don't want to use them, that's completely cool too. So what I've got for my prop here is I have a bar, um, a bar top chair. If you have just a regular chair or even if you're in your kitchen counter, that's great too. So let's get started. We're going to just, um, let's just kind of stretch out. Let's just warm up these bodies a little bit, get them a little bit loose. So they, they're ready to go and they know what's coming up. So take both hands, bring them right up. Put your ears right in line with those shoulders. Maybe tuck your arms behind your ears a little bit. Inhale, lift up tall, push down through your heels. Push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. And exhale over to the side. Act like you're reaching up and over this chair. So you're really driving that hip over. Whew, take a big exhale right there. Push your hips forward a little bit. Open up through your chest. And slight rotation, rotate that inside right armpit up and exhale come back up Whew, that should feel pretty good okay here we go and you're gonna inhale reach up if your bum is sticking out bring it front so you're pushing forward just a little bit straighten out the backs of those legs meaning you press the backs of your knees away so you don't want a bent leg up pull in that belly button Drop the shoulders down and exhale up and over to the other side. So think about reaching up and over, creating this rainbow effect. Drive those hips to the right, reach your fingers to the left, and then open up that top armpit. Oh, you're looking for major length all through here. And if you feel like you're um, kind of catching your breath a little bit or it's Whew, you might need to take a big, big inhale. Your heart's starting to race a little bit. This is a major heart opener, a major chest opener first thing in the morning. It's really challenging. Oh, wow. Makes you feel about two inches taller though. Okay, and then you're gonna go into a back bend. Okay, so fingers are gonna be right back up by the side. Stevie, my cat, <laughs> she's here with me. I don't know if you can see her, there she is. Um, yeah, she just is nosy. She has to be into everything. Okay, back bend. Here you go. Push down through those heels. Open up those toes. Press those hips forward. Pull in that belly button. Reach up tall. And as you're reaching over, think about me putting a beach ball or my hands right here between your shoulder blades and try to lift up. Whew. The knees are going to want to bend. You're going to try to open those. The butt's going to want to stick out. Push those hips forward. And exhale, come on back. Oh, roll out your head, neck, and shoulders. Just fall right forward. Reach down towards your toes. Maybe take a big knee bend. Anything that you need to kind of shrug it out, roll it out, um, get a little bit loosened up for this, okay? Let's get right into it. Here we go. Heels are together, toes are open. Nice, light, resting fingers, nothing major. You're not gripping. You're not holding those uh, too wildly. Press, 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 press. Okay, so the couple of things that you wanna look for here, if your tailbone is sticking out, tuck it in. So you're rotating your pubic bone towards your face. Take your knees and drive them out, down. Think of going towards your pinky toes and you wanna slow it down just a little bit. I'm a little pepped up this morning, so I gotta slow it down. No momentum. Lengthen and squeeze. Lengthen, squeeze. Lengthen and define, meaning give it a little bit of a tuck right there. Ouch, ouch! And a, <laughs> a little bit of a squeeze. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Okay, if you feel yourself rolling into the insides of your feet, you want to roll to have the outside a little bit more. Open up those knees. Whew. 
Take some deep breaths. Drop your shoulders out of your ears. Open up your chest. Get wide through this clavicle. Maybe extend this arm up and keep going. Here you go. You should start to fill these. Fire up a little bit. And you're thinking your knees are reaching, reaching out and away. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7. Walk your toes out wide. And 4, and 3, 2, and press, push, push, push. No bouncing, it's a push, push, push. Think of your tailbone going straight down. Whew, those legs should be burning. Here you go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach, press, reach, press. Think lengthen. And define, lengthen, define. If you're feeling good about that balance, take your both arms up, open up your chest, watch for your butt, it's gonna try to stick out, it's gonna start to go like this, right? And you're gonna kind of hinge over. That's why I really, really like this chair. And I want my back sliding straight up and down this wall. Knees are going out towards my pinky toes. Shoulders are back, chest is wide across the clavicle. Think of the four points of your body, right? The frame of your body. Shoulder, shoulder, hip to hip. And let's go for another four. And three, two, one. Hold it down here. Lean back a little bit. Woo! Press. Press, 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 press. Knees go out towards the toes. Lean back, tuck your tailbone in. Yeah, that should feel it right there in that little crank. That little crank in that tailbone. Right through here, firing up these legs. Okay, we've got one more set. Here you go, press and squeeze, press. Squeeze, lengthen, define, lengthen, define, drop, define. And I shouldn't say drop. I want it to be a conscious push down. Try to keep both of your feet flat on the floor, not letting those heels come up. This should feel great in the calves as well. Lengthening, okay? We've got about six more here. I'm starting to stick my tailbow now. So tuck it in for four, three, two, one. Hold it down and tuck your tailbone in. Rotate those knees out. I really want you to think about me pushing those knees out. Push, 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 push. Whoo! Chest is light, shoulders are dropped, tailbone is tucking in. Back is going up and down this wall, and it's tiny, but not easy. Four, three, two, one. Come right up onto the balls of your feet. Okay, look for this. It's going to start to happen. Okay, so bring it forward. Now you're up on the balls of your feet. Heels are going to be about, I don't know, about three inches apart, it looks like. Your, um... Balls of your feet are right within the frame of your body. Shoulder, shoulder, hip to hip. You want all these four points. Toes are shooting straight down. Get ready, here you go. My butt's sticking out a little bit. Take it, push it forward. Press, squeeze, press, squeeze. And as you fatigue, you'll feel where these uh, knees start to cave in a little bit. You're gonna feel your bum starting to go out and that's when you just have to regroup take a breath come back in and squeeze and when you're coming up think of your backs and your knees 
tapping all the way in. And I'm not sure if you can see my feet. I'm trying to stay up on the balls of my feet. I should say the ridge of the big toe. You wanna get right into the ridge of that big toe. So a cue that I use in class sometimes is if I put a heel underneath your, um, or if I put a brick underneath your heel, the heel doesn't drop. The knees go out and away towards your pinkies. <laughs> okay, let's go for another four. And three. And two. <laughs> and one. And drop it down. Here you go. Push, 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 push. Whoo! Don't let those heels drop, guys. Get up high under the ridge of the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Big ones. Here you go. Squeeze. Lower. Squeeze. <clears throat> and another thing I tell classes all the time, too, is I get tired, too. So if I stop, you keep going. Whew. We'll all fatigue at different points. And we'll all need a break to kind of regroup and find our form. And the body is so subtle in how it cheats. And next thing you know, that butt is hitting the wall behind you. Heels are up, right? Get those heels up. Get those knees wide. Whew. Think of me pushing your kneecaps back. And let's go for another four. And three. Tuck your tailbones in for two. Here you go. Push, push. So from the side, tailbones that are in, body is flat going straight up and down that wall behind me. My legs are shaking like hell. Whew. So if you are too, you're not alone, guys. We're doing awesome. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. One more set. Oh, mama. Oh, my cat. CB, no. <laughs> she swagged my finger and it's bleeding, so... She's not the best assistant. Here you go. For five and four and three and two. And let's knock out those little guys. Here you go. Fill the juice. Press, 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 press. Whoo, mama. Oh, this has got to be good for us. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and all the way down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Shaking legs are good legs though, right, Stevie? Shaking legs are good legs. Whew. Okay, there's our first little warm-up set. Um, bar is not easy. Like I said, it's just simple moves that they're not complicated, but it's really bloody hard. And that's, I just love it. I just think it's just great. Okay, and you're gonna come way up onto the balls of your feet. So when I say balls of the feet, I should keep saying ridges of the ridges of the big toes. So you don't want any of these like short little church heels. You want these big hooker heels, right? These big high stiletto heels. We're going clubbing, okay? And then your legs are all the way together. Shoulders are right over those hips. Watch for that butt sticking out. Tuck it in. My back is flat. Watch for this curling, open, wide, press, lift, press, lift. So think of me behind you, holding your heels up with the palm of my, with my hands. I'm not letting those guys drop. Your knees are squeezing together. Like you're holding a little um, piece of paper there. Watch for that tailbone, it's gonna to wanna to stick it out. You're gonna do the exact opposite and tuck it in. 10, nine, eight. If your legs are shaking, that's cool. You can drop into a flat foot. This is a releve, a releve is when you're high up on the balls of your feet or the ridges of your toes. Your inner thigh should be zipped up from your pinky or from the inside big toes all the way up to your pubic bone. We're coming right up this midline for four and three and two. Drop, tuck that tailbone in, press, 
press, press, no bouncing, no bouncing. Make it a push, push, push. Shaking legs are good. Whew. Those heels really want to drop, recommit. Drop your shoulders, tuck your tailbone in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. One more set of big ones. Here you go. Wow. Press, squeeze, push, squeeze. Think of lengthening the front of your legs out here so your knees are dropping as far away from those hips as possible right down through the center of your midline. Your heels are probably trying to open up. You're high up on the ridges of those big toes. See if you can get those heels together. That makes it a little bit more tough. For three and two. Drop, here you go. Push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one, and everything comes down. Nice job, guys. And I hope that you have some um, little upbeat music that you can play. Um, I have to keep mine down really low. Facebook has their watchdogs out for um, any music that's that you're not um, owning copyrights to. So just put up some. Um, some good energetic music for you, whatever feels good. Okay, let's go into some uh, lunges back. So when we go here, you're gonna come up into releve. You're welcome to drop down to a flat foot at any time. You're inhaling all the way back. Ooh, square out those hips, and you're coming up into a toe tap. Hips come all the way forward. Drop the shoulders. Reach and exhale back in. Inhale. Now it's gonna be a little bit tricky when we're not using the bar and we can just drop our body weight into that bar. And actually this is probably much, much better because we don't have that support. So I'm on a flat foot right now and I'm already shaken up a little bit. If I wanna go up into a releve, this is what I'm gonna look like. Here you go, we've got 10 and nine and eight, seven and six, last five. Keep that knee right above that ankle. Keep that heel pressed up into that wall. Chin is flat for four. And three, two, and one, and drop it back. Whew. Okay, get ready for these quick little taps. Hike up that heel, get that knee right over that ankle. Tap, tap. Square off those hips, bring that belly button up. This leg is what we're looking for. He's on fire already. Light, light, lightly balance on that bar stool. Okay, we've got 10, nine, eight. Shoulders are dropped, belly button's in, tailbone's tucked in. Five, recommit that heel, guys. Mine's dropping two. For four, three, two, one, and come on down. Wow. Okay, right into that other side, here you go. So flat foot or up onto releve, whichever you prefer. Whew. Get your positioning right, roll out your head, neck, and shoulders, whatever you need to do. The standing leg is the guy that should start um, cranking up pretty quick. Reach back. Okay, so if I'm in releve, here I am. Whew. Watch that knee right above the ankle and in. Reach and in. Lunge and up. And when you come up, Try to come all the way up. Meaning you want to take the top of your head up to the ceiling and you want to open up your chest. Drop those shoulders back, squeeze and thrust those hips forward. You've got 10 and nine. Always welcome to drop into a flat heel like I just did. 
for seven and six. Keep your inner thighs engaged. Toe drives right back for four and three and two and one. And let's go into those little quickies. Here you go. I'm getting back up onto the ball of this foot. I'm popping up this heel. Tap, tap, 10. Get as light on these fingers as you can. Open up your chest. Look straight ahead. Tuck in that tailbone. And just remember the standing leg is the guy that should be working for us. Whew. Okay, we've got six, five, four, three. My heel's dropping two. And come on down. Oh, mama. Wow. Bar, like I said, it's not easy. It's, um, there's a very, very simple moves, but they are not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so let's go into a little bit of a sideline series. I really actually love this series. Get a little bit warm in here. Oh, that's a good sign. Getting a little bit warm. Okay, this toe is going to open up. All of my weight is in the standing heel. Okay, you wanna anchor this hip. Whew. Drop those shoulders wide through the chest. Shoulders are down, chest is wide. Get your dish D, look straight ahead. Take that toe, leaning into that standing heel. Chest is open, hips press forward. Exhale, exhale. So try not to swing the leg. And you're trying not to get lazy and dip. You want this to be engaged. You want this core to be engaged. Height of the leg doesn't matter. What we're looking for is use this oblique to pull this thigh up. Exhale, exhale. Okay, we've got 10, nine. Standing heel is heavy. Reach out of the top of your fingers, but drop your shoulders down. Stay within the frame for four, three, two, all the way out, close, tapping that knee. So you're looking for length here, right? Open, close. This oblique is, stay, is engaged. It's what's keeping my thigh in place. Don't let that guy drop. Extend, pull in. Don't just swing your leg and kick it. I want you to reach and pull, like you're pushing and pulling. Push, pull. Open up your chest. Wow, standing legs should be dying. Woo, right here too, right? For five, four, three, and two, and one, and drop it down. Walk them out, just a quick little walk out. You can always go up into releve for this, that is, um, Quite difficult, but really good. If you want to go up into releve, this foot would be popped all the way up into this really high ridge of that big toe. Okay, and then you'd be right up here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a releve, and I'll do it from the side. Open up those shoulders, tuck in that tailbone, belly button's engaged, chest is wide and proud. Take that toe out, hold it up. You're gonna draw my little Pilates circles. There goes my, my chair. Here you go for 10, nine, eight, seven. Lifting up this arm as an extension of that leg actually helps. For five, four, three, two, one. Other direction for eight. Use this oblique to move that leg. For seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and come on down. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of those. Flat foot or popped up into releve, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna be on a flat foot, and then I'm gonna take my toe out. Try not to tilt your hips, try not to drop them in. Keep them nice and square. Exhale, like I said, you're collapsing the space between your armpit and your hip by Exhaling into this side oblique. Exhale, exhale. One more set, here you go. 10, nine, eight. Look straight ahead, lift up guys, push down through that heel. Light in that standing leg. 
for four, three, two, one, little circles, ten, nine, eight, this is light, light touch, seven, six, five, oh, my leg is shaking, four, three, two, one, point that toe, other direction, ten, nine, eight, seven, use that core, use that core, four, five, four, three, two, one, and come on down, oh, mama, Mamba jamba. All right, here we go. Let's go into that other side. Before we talk ourselves out of it, right? Ah, all right, here we go. Zip up those inner thighs. Press those hips forward. Open up that chest. Drop those shoulders out of your ears. Long the crust here. Take that toe straight out. Look for those tilting hips. They want to cock, right? They just kind of want to cock. Boom. I have... um kind of the fortunate, I'm, um, my video camera is looking right at me, which is kind of good and bad. I can't get away with anything when I'm looking right at this. Okay, you've got your dishti straight ahead. Drop those shoulders, weight is in the standing heel, light on that toe, exhale, exhale, exhale. You wanna go a little bit slower, that's cool too. You've got eight, seven, six, Drop your shoulders out of your earrings, right? They'll creep up here for five, four, three, two, one. Recommit, drop onto that standing heel. That knee is starting to bend, That's down you go. Push it back into the wall behind you. That back of the knee presses back. Circles, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Other direction, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come on down. Okay, we've got one more set. Let's try releve, shall we? Okay, here we go. So you're gonna pop up, high up on the uh, ridge of that toe. Heel is pressing forward, drop those shoulders back. Take that toe out, square off those hips, relax. Deep breath, catch your breath at any time. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Light grip on that um, chair, bar counter, whatever, whatever you've got. Try not to death grip it, right? You're just using it for a little bit of support. If you're on a flat foot, lift up this arm. If you're in a releve, most likely you'll need it. Maybe reach this arm up. Five, four, three, two, Reach out, extend, draw my circles. 10, 9, 8, 7. Open up your chest, guys. Lift up that heel, get it back up there. I know it's dropping, minus two. Other direction. 9, 8, whew, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come on down. Oh, nice job, guys. Wow. Okay, so from there, we're gonna go right into some, um, we're gonna reach behind us. No rest for the weary. So come up into where you've got this light grip, the shoulders are open, and you're gonna take this um, knee, bring it right up in front of you, keep it right in line with that hip. And then I want you to just take this whole body fixture and rotate it to the back. Okay, so now think about the length of your leg from your hip bone to your knee. It's not a heavy down. You're not kind of sinking towards the mat. You want to get that upper, that um, plank, lift away, light through here. Hands are on those hips maybe. Maybe you don't even need this guy. Now take that knee and reach it away. This should be full on engaged. Flex your toes back towards your kneecaps. Reach, reach reach. Don't think of lifting up and kicking up. Think of extending your knee away from the top of your head. Okay, I can feel my standing knee starting to bend, so I've got to recommit that guy. It's just because I'm fatiguing. I'm getting tired. For five, four, 
three, two, hold it, tap, 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 10, drop that hip, drop this hip, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, they call it a curtsy, come on down and reach, down and reach, down, reach. Watch for those shoulders. You're looking for this long, beautiful length from that kneecap all the way out for 10 and nine. Ooh, that standing leg has got it going on for seven, six, and five. Control, 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 guys, for three and two and hold it up, recommit, drop your hips, square up your shoulders, reach, reach, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, and come on down. Wow, hopefully you felt that, I did. I certainly did. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, going up into releve to do that. I think it's pretty brutal. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to stay up there. Like I said, I've been hanging out a lot more than working out too for the past three weeks, so I'm Whew, definitely hitting my fatigue level. I don't know about you guys. Okay, here we go. So up on the releve, I would be up into my high, high ridges. Whew, let's give this baby a shot. Pull in that belly button, open up those shoulders. Tuck in that top one a little bit for me. And then reach that inner thigh up. Think inner thigh to the sky. Shoulders are back. High up on that heel. But you see that back of the knee, how he wants to go in? Open him. And then take that whole fissure and rotate it away. Think of yourself as a ballerina, right? Try to get that little bit of grace. Here we go. Press, press, reach. Drop this hip, open up this knee. This is where we should have it going on, plus the standing leg. Eight, seven, six, and again, don't think of it as a lifting and a lifting into the lower back. Think of it as a knee extension away from your breast or from your shoulder blade, away from your chest, away from the top of your head. Eight, I lost count, so we're just gonna have to keep going. For four, three, two, give me those little guys, reach, press, 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 extend. Side oblique on fire. Hold that thigh up. Hold it up there. Don't let 